Well, hello, hello. My name is Gant, and welcome back to Ace Academy. Last time, we saw Cowdy and May get into an argument about some guy named Rakota? Ryoka? Something like that, you know what I mean? Then, we had with the cooking club with Yuna, and both of ours were not really good. We made a cake or whatever, it wasn't good. But you know what they say, practice makes perfect. Then we met a, a Russian dude named, I don't remember his name, I want to say Vladimir. That sounds kind of Russian, right? Uh, yeah, Vladimir is like Hungarian, you know, like Transylvania or some shit like that. Then, um, Nikki's talking to a boy. Yeah. Anyway, none of these recap things are good at all. So if you want to, like, get a real recap, watch the last episode. Anyway, let us continue. I wake up energized and throw off my blankets. Today's our match against Ona Bugesha. I'm looking forward to it. I run through my morning routine, thinking up strategies in my head. Then, try to refocus as I finish my breakfast. I still have class to attend before my match. I grab my bag and hop on my bike. There is an unexpected heavy amount of traffic this morning and I rush into class right on time. That was a little too close for my comfort. As I settle into my seat, the professor clears his throat, beginning the lesson. Good morning class! For today's lesson, we will discuss the differences between energy and kinetic weapons. You know what, I'm gonna sit through this one because, you know, it's better than being like, I'm gonna go to sleep. You know what I mean? But let's, let me tell you, I would sleep in this case. I don't like lessons, man. Like, if they're like really boring. So, sounds interesting. Let's first review the two defensive mechanisms of a gear. The shield and hull. Really? <clears throat> the, the hull is the physical gear. The shield is a virtually invisible barrier generated by using the core's energy. The strength of the shield varies greatly depending on the core, shield generator, and power allocation settings. Energy and kinetic weapons are meant to target opposite defenses. Energy-based arsenals are effective against shields as they quickly drain shield energy, but because of that, they are weak at penetrating the hull. Alternatively, kinetic weaponry is designed to puncture the armor, but they are weak against shields as the kinetic energy gets dispersed over a large surface area, the entire shield. For the purpose of war games and recreational use, only energy weapons are permitted. A gear is considered destroyed when it is depowered. Of course, outside of recreational combat, this rule does not apply. Well, yeah, no shit, because outside of recreational combat is like actual combat where people die. <laughs> I guess imagine them using, um, using for war, like ripping, um, arms and everything, like robot arms and everything, man. It's, that shit would be crazy. A student raises his hand. What about hybrid weapons? Ah, yes. Hybrid weapons are able to equally damage both the shield and hull. However, their damage strength is not as effective as a singular purpose weapon. The student nods in acknowledgement. Please turn to page 233 and let's take a look at the different types of energy weapons. I flip to the page the professor mentioned and continue listening to the lesson. That's all for today. Please make sure you have all completed your web link assignments for next class. Okie dokie. I pack my things and head to the hangar to meet up with my team. Our match is scheduled earlier than usual, and we need to rethink our strategy. The plan we discussed has all revolved around our match against Strike X, but now that they're disqualified, we have to come up with a new one against our new opponent. I enter the ca I enter the hangar and look for Aura. When I arrive, everyone is there. Show waves. Rosa. Hello. Hey. Hi. Cowdy greets me with a nod. Good. We're all here. Let's head to the pre-combat room and start planning out strategies. Hey. The enemy. We collectively turn at the sound of May's voice. 
She waves and beams at us as she runs closer. What are you doing here, May? Cowdy sounds less than amused. I wanted to wish you all good luck. I'm so excited for our match. Me too. Mayu smiles and nods. Who needs luck when you're this good? Stay quiet. No, let's be nice. She's pretty cute. And you know what? I'm ready to be a simp. Good luck to you guys too. We won't hold back. M May smiles. We won't either. As quickly as she arrived, she's gone in a flash. She's so nice! I'm totally feeding off of her enthusiasm! I'm getting a better vibe off of this match too than the one off of Strike X. No! What? Why are you mad? Show blinks at Cowdy's outburst. No? She's just putting on an act! She was trying to psych us out! Don't fall for it! Okay. I don't think that was her goal. You guys don't know her like I do. You can't trust her. Especially when she's acting all friendly like that. Okay. I really want to know what's wrong with what really happened between them two. You know what I mean? Like in detail. I remember the heated conversation I overheard between Cowdy and May. This must be related. Anyways, let's go strategize while we have some time. Okay. She doesn't wait for us to answer and begins power walking towards the pre-combat rooms. Hey, wait for us! We jog to catch up and follow her. After a quick change into our pilot suits, we meet at the hollow desk. Cowdy sets up the match. A few minutes later, a hollow desk projection projects the arena and the gears involved in the fight. Alright, so what's the deal? Onna Bugiesha is a melee only team. It will be important to pay attention to our positioning and maintain a safe distance. We have close combat teams. No, we had close combat teams in the past. Claws of the Wild comes to mind from a few weeks ago. Mayu is focused on the hollow desk and takes a serious tone. Claw of the Wild was a melee centric team, but their gears were knitted to perform a hybrid role. Based on Onabugesha's data, their gears are all custom tailored for high bursts of speed and close combat engagements. We would benefit greatly from keeping a distance. If we play defensively, it will force them to chase us, and we can wear them down before going on the offense. What do you think, Brosif? Agreed. Range is key. Let's go for a Super Smash Melee Brawl. No. <laughs> That'll be cool and all, but at the same time it's like, well, May can't, Mayu can't fucking... Uh, she only has a gun. Show. I don't really know what your gear has. I, I'm i sorry. I just don't know. I don't pay attention to you. You're just, um, you know, show. Alright, I agree. Range is key. If they have no range weaponry, we should do as much damage from afar as we can. Whittling them down before fully engaging will give us the best advantage. Sounds good to me. Mayu and Cowdy both nod. Okay, well, we can all go range, but Aura can't. Ka the team looks at Cowdy. I'll engage Mei head on, and keep her out of the fight. That kind of goes against our plan. To my surprise, to my surprise, Cowdy grits her teeth and bites back a retort. She studies the hollow desk for a little too long, then sighs. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll hang back with you guys and intercept if one of the enemy gears manages to break through. Mayu nods. I think that would be best. Okay, let's recap. We'll play it from a distance and keep baiting their team. Since Mayu is our best shot, we'll keep her well protected and follow her lead. Cowdy looks right at me. She finally looks more focused than I've seen her all week. You and Sho can play aggressively if we take the lead. I will intercept whoever reaches Mayu, if they even manage to. Got it? We all nod. The tension is palatable. Even though Cowdy is always serious, her tone is more aggressive than usual. 
We have a rare opportunity to really boost our MMR, and we can't throw this chance away. Okay. There's absolutely no way we can lose to Mei. You know what? With that attitude, we might lose. You're gonna do something stupid. I could tell already. All right, let's see what we can do, man. That almost sounded like a threat. I nod a little uneasily and glance at Sho and Mayu, whose faces mirrored my thoughts. Cowdy turns back to the hollow desk and uploads our plan plans as we wait in silence. A loud beep announces the match. I mutter under my breath. <sighs> Saved by the beep. Mayu Sean Mayu seems equally relieved. Just make sure you guys stay focused. Of course. Sho forces enthusiasm into his voice, attempting to raise our morale. Kauri ignores him, and Sho deflates. Let's go. <sighs> Something's gonna go wrong. I could already tell, man. We enter the arena from one side while Ona Bugesha enters from the other. Welcome, everyone! Are you all ready for another fantastic match? Woo! The crowd erupts into a loud cheer. Good, because we have an amazing one lined up for you. Ona Bugesha versus 82049 We really need to come up with a better name. Ooh, look at their designs. Like, it looks like, um, they look like samurais, but with boobs. Like, I don't know if there were female samurais because I don't really know too much about Japanese, like, history. Which I really do want to get into Japanese history. I know about Western, like, mostly Europe and, um, and America, you know what I mean? I know those histories, but I want to get into, like, Japanese history, you know? Well, I kind of know Japanese history, like, but after, like, you know, the Meiji Restoration and after that. But I never- I really want to get into Samurais. So I don't know if there were like female Samurais, but just imagine the Samurai armor, but like with boobs. <laughs> it's so stupid. Like they put like- it's basically the armor, but they put <laughs> like- You know what? Let's put boobs on it. Just, oh yeah, because it's a stupid- Yeah, never mind. Because it's like- the girls need to have boobs if they're females. <laughs> Everyone's comms are open. As we wait, wait, the sound off. May's team get into position and await with relaxed confidence. Alright, let's get them, guys. As we also get into formation, the tension I felt from before intensifies. This no longer feels as a friendly, friendly of a match as I thought it'd be. As soon as the sound blare, sound off blares, May's team dashes straight towards us. A faint shimmer surrounds their gear, re revealing a hefty, affordable shield. Mayu! On it! Mayu raises her gun and takes aim, while the three of us position to protect her. A heavy round flies into one of the gears in the distance. Although the shot connects, it disperses in a hexagon of a shim of shimmers. What? They're shields! They're tailored to deal with rail rounds. I need the shield to be weakened so that my shot can penetrate and force an immediate to power. Affirmative. I'll stay back and protect. You two go aggressive and focus on knocking out their shield. Alright. Let's go. Roger that. Switching to EMP rounds now. Oh, that sounds dope. Switching to EMP rounds now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that sounded really dope. Sho and I boot forward, spraying a hell of en energy rounds. The enemy takes- The enemy team takes evasive maneuvers. Mei breaks away, while the other three continue racing towards Mayu. Oh shit. The closest enemy gear takes the brunt of damage- Of the damage. And its front barrier drops. Mayu takes advantage of the vulnerability and aims a shot at the gear, instantly depowering it. Nice! One down! I have two of them approaching me. Cowdy? Cowdy! Where's she going? Ooh. Aura has already left her position and sprints towards Mei. What are you doing? You have to protect Mayu! I am! 
I'm taking out Mei so she can't attack! Well, she's not even close by. That wasn't the plan! You two cover her! We're not in position to! <sighs> she's already engaged! Let's go! She's already, she's already engaged. <laughs> Show, come on, man. What, you put a ring on her already? <laughs> she's already engaged! Let go of her! <laughs> Show and I boot back to Mayu, but it's too late. I've been depowered. Ooh. We're gonna lose. Her voice is lethally calm. This can't be good. Two enemy gears shift to Show and I'm. Two on two, but not much distance. Play this out carefully. For once, show is serious. Alright, I'm gonna mess this up, watch. The gear splits their focus, and one of them charged towards me, while the other one boots towards show. I boost away and take aim. Um, um, fire. My aim is true, and a blast of energy rounds collide with her gear. She stumbles back from the hit, while I create more distance between us. Before she can strike again, I move away to create more distance between us. I raise my gun for another shot. Um, fire. She tries to dodge, she tries dodge, but it's too slow, and my shots propel her shield. She pushes back from the force of the blow, but once she gets her bearings, she boosts right back towards me. As she approaches, I boost away from her and weave around the arena, forcing her to chase me. I steady my aim. Shoot. Yeah, she's dead. She's too slow to dodge, and my shot strikes right through her shield. Her gear can't support the hit, and she depowers. I look over at Sho, just in time to see an enemy gear strike. Watch out! I boost closer and shoot again. The rounds connect with the gear, just as her attack connects with Sho. Sho blocks just a second too late, and he's depowered. But, because she wasn't expecting my attack, she left herself vulnerable and is also depowered. Mei is the only thing is the only remaining enemy gear. One more gear and the match is ours! On it. I boost her Cowdy and Mei, who are locked in a duel. Aya! Aura strikes with vigor, but is parried. Mei retaliates with a wide swing, which Cowdy barely manages to block. I'm here! Don't interfere! Huh? W what? What do you mean, don't interfere? Let me handle this! Cody! This isn't a simulation! It's a real match! Yeah, what you're saying! May is going down in a one-on-one. -on -one. She won't have any excuses this way! This is a team match! You can't put a win in jeopardy because you want to make this personal! What should I do? You know what? No, I'm not gonna interfere. You wanna know why? Listen, listen, if she wants to... She gonna get her ass kicked. And I'm gonna let it happen. Then I'm gonna come in for the win. Alright? If she wants to get her ass kicked, she could get her ass kicked all that she wants, you know? Like, shit. Don't interfere. I got this. You know what I mean? It's that stupid bravado I see too much in East Los. I could do it. You know what I mean? Like, I could do it. I don't need your help. It's like, alright, fucker. Go get your ass kicked. Go. I don't give a shit. Go. I cut Eagle's engines. What are you doing? Letting her get her ass kicked. <sighs> May notices my engines is off, and she lunges towards Eagle. Uh, take the fence. Eagle bursts into action. You know what, Cowdy? If you can't handle her, and she's gonna attack me, I'm not gonna... You know what I mean? What are you doing? I'm not just gonna sit here and let her take me out. Perry. Anticipating, anticipating her strike, I, I sidestep using my thrusters and counterattack with my own blade. Really? One hit? Cowdy. One hit? Really? With no shields activated on her back arc. My swing completely depowers her ear. Nice one! Show's the only one to speak. Guys? Mayu and Cowdy are both silent. Aura sheaves her blade and exits the arena. 8, 20, 49, 11 are the winners! Congratulations! I don't, I don't
don't know what the f- what cow do you want me to do. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, you two are fighting, right? I let you do your own thing. Then one of the people want to come up and mess with me. Like, do you really think I'm going to sit back and not do anything? Like, really? Really? <sighs> Cowdy, you just got to stop being a puta and just calm down. Like, shit, man. The crowd roars to life, but their excitement doesn't penetrate the friction clouding our team. I hate to rush our competing teams, but we have another match in just a few minutes. Please clear the arena. How about no? Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna talk with Cowdy. You, you just, you know, hang on for a bit. May's team heads back to their pre-combat room as we head to ours. When we enter the pre-combat room, Cowdy is nowhere to be found. He must be ar- he must already be changing. Show and I go to change, but Maya stays back. He must be really upset if she actively avoid if she's actively avoiding Cowdy. Man, I'm not liking the vibe right now. You know what, Show? I don't like the vibe either. Because it just said we were changing and you're still in your suit. Like, really? Not that I'm blaming you or anything. I mean, you did hang back, but May charged at you. I know, man. Like, what do you want me to do? Just sit back and take it? In these slows, you don't take anything, man. Like, the only thing you take is, like, insults. That's my thing. Uh, As long as you don't touch me, you know what I mean? I'm not going to do nothing to you. Like, I got insulted um when I was a... Well, not assaulted, but um, I've been insulted. As a kid, you know what I mean? And as a kid, I was really sad. But when I got older, it's like, I understand. It's like, as long as you're not hitting me, I don't care what you say, you know? But damn, man. She charged at me. She was going to hit me. Of course I hit her. You know what? That sounds really bad. She was in a robot, so it was okay to hit her. <laughs> because it really sounds bad. It's like, of course I hit her. She tried to hit me. <laughs> sounds really bad. But you know what I mean? Like, if someone tries to hit you... You gotta hit him back. You gotta sock him first, man. Just, like, weave out of the way. Move out of the way. And just, bam! Okay, let's get back into it. <clears throat> yeah. I exhale. <sighs> it's in the past now. Yeah. Show and I first... Oh, we were changing. When we were talking. Okay. Show and I finish changing and head back to the pre-combat room. As as soon as we enter, Cowdy stomps up to me. Mayu is nowhere to be found. Why did you do that? She was gonna hit me. What do you want me to do? Do what? You engaged May. No, May engaged me. Yes, and you fought back. You t- you expect me to just sit there and give her a free kill? She opens her mouth to retort, but pauses. You don't understand! You know what I do understand? You took your sweet time to just wait and not finish her off. Literally, one hit. Got her in one hit. How could he? You aren't making any sense at all! Cowdy tenses and glares at show. I don't have to explain myself to you! Well, you do. We're part of a team. No, Cowdy. Ooh. We turn around to see Mayu. Her jaw is set and her eyes are hard. I've never seen her this upset before. It's chilling. Cowdy's eyes widen. Mayu? Ooh. You put your personal agenda above the team and risk the match. Dot, dot, dot. Our positioning was compromised, and I had no support. Those two were out of position because of an aggressive call that you made. That ended up costing us two depowered gears, one of which was avoidable. So no, you do owe us an explanation. I'm not gonna lie, man. When you're part of the team, you have to, you know what I mean, talk about stuff. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to, like... Share your past if it has nothing to do with the team. But this whole thing had something to do with that thing. So you have to explain. 
like, maybe you don't want to go into details about your past, but you gotta explain your actions. And even in life, you gotta explain your actions, because in life, you'll do many things. Good, bad. If you can't explain why you did them, you're just lying to the person, you're lying to yourself, and you're hurting others in the process, man. We don't do things for ourselves no more. It's, you know what I mean? And we never have. We've always done, whatever we do affects someone. Either good, bad, or eh. Like, it, it was something, but eh. <laughs> it affects someone, everything you do. Whether it be you do a good act, you do a bad act, or you just buy someone a sandwich. You know what I mean? Everything affects whatever you say, whatever you do. Yeah. I'm just getting it there. Oh, yeah. What I was going getting to. If your actions affect the team, your family, friends, you have to explain it. You don't want to be an asshole and be like, I don't explain anything to you. And it's like, no, no, you can't explain. Why? It's because you just did it. You did something that affected everyone. And if you can't at least explain how you saw it, and not to, like, change their minds on, like, maybe make it a positive thing, but you know what I mean? It's like, you have to explain it so at least they they know. They'll still be mad, but it's like, you can at least explain why you did shit. W would it be a good explanation? No, but at least it's something. Her out Her voice is calm but severe. Mayu's ice is a lot more unnerving than any any of Cowdy's fiery outbursts. This is getting out of control. Back up, Mayu. Waiting for an answer, Cowdy. How would I... Damn it, man. Because this is why I don't like um, being part of a team. Like, don't get me wrong, my family, like, you know what I mean? Like, I try to help them, but... I don't like confrontations. I never do. How would I handle this? There's... I'm not going to tell my to back up because, you know, he, he makes a good point. I'm not going to press Cowdy else she's just going to break down either crying or, you know, mad. Yeah, th this, this is getting out of hand. This is going crazy right now. We just need to calm down and wait for her to explain herself and maybe we'll get her side of the story and we could be like, Okay, I see where you're coming from, you know? Let's all take a deep breath and calm down. They ignore me and continue to glare at each other. Cowdy looks between the three of us, then sighs. I get it. I made a mistake. But I can't be expected to always make the perfect calls. We don't expect that from you either. But when you start throwing the blame around... I'm sorry, okay? Although she snaps her apology, I can tell it's not because of the lack of sincerity. It's because she's not used to apologizing. It would help if you meant it. Cowdy clenches her hands into a fist. Oh shit. Everyone back up. I know how this is gonna end up. I I've been around East Los, man. I know how this shit ends. I said I'm sorry! I messed up! It was my fault! Blame me! What else do you want? Um, an apology. Um, we want to know why... Why you did it, at least? Even if it's just like, Because I hate May! It's like, okay, understandable. But no, you're not gonna tell us shit, are you? Let's drop it. She already said sorry. Show crosses the arms, but nods. At least Mayu seems to have returned to her normal demeanor. Okay. We usually celebrate as a team after a win, but I get the feeling that won't happen this time. After picking up our stuff, we exit the pre-combat room. May is waiting for us outside, leaning against the door. Oh no. <sighs> hey guys! Congratulations on the win! Look at us, we're all like, two of them are mad. Mayu's like, she's like, eee, this is gonna get bad. And it is gonna get bad. I glance at Mei, barely registering her, her presence. 
I'm too wrapped up with what happened in the pre-combat room. May's smiles falters when, she's, when no one answers. Wow, with gloomy faces like that, I'd think you were the ones that lost. Damn, the music. So you didn't get mad? Shit. Shut up, May! Ooh. Even Cho's like, <gasps> May flinches from the ferocity of Cowdy's voice. Uh, I was just kidding, Cowrie. This is all your fault! No, Cowdy, it's all your fault. What are you talking about? No, it's her fault. It's because of Rakoda. Alright, like, at least tells why it's her fault. May is stunned into silence. You seriously need to calm down. May didn't do anything. You're being too harsh, Cowdy. Cowdy's eyes flash. You guys are taking her side? I thought you were my teammates! Yeah, but you're being irrational right now. We aren't taking anyone's side, but since the match, you've been acting like a complete... Save. Show! Damn it. Mayu, you really have to stop him. Sho catches himself, catches him himself, and falls silent. Cowdy looks at him. A complete what? Bitch. You're being a complete bitch right now. Yeah, I said it. I don't give a shit. He is. Nothing. I have to be the bigger person. That's the problem, man. Like, I, I think it's just because I grew up in East Lose. Like, he would have said, <laughs> like, we don't give a shit about your feelings. Yeah, you're mad, but don't bring down the fucking mood, you know what I mean? She pauses. When she finally speaks, her voice cracks. I see. That's how you really feel. Sho looks softened. Like, Cowdy, like, you're being irrational. No, I didn't mean that. Cowdy turns to face May. You. Damn it. He lowers her head. You always turn my friends against me. Um, you did that yourself. She spins on her heels, heel, and walks away. When she thinks she is out of sight, she starts running. Cowrie! Cowdy disappears. She was about to rush after her when May blocks his path. I have to go apologize. I didn't mean what I said. May sighs. <sighs> you need to give her space right now, or you'll just make it worse. Uh... Shell looks torn, but doesn't try to follow Cowdy. I don't think I've ever seen her too upset to yell. Maya looks down, wearily at her feet. I was too mean to her earlier. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna lie. We did nothing wrong. Maybe we took it too far, but it's also her fault too. We all should have just calmed down, talked it about it a little bit more. Get where she was coming from, and maybe she'll she, let her know where we're coming from. And you know what I mean, maybe things could have been better if we would have just talked down, maybe had tea, you know. I don't know, man. It's it's hard to say when you're too caught up with emotions. It's just too hard to like think rationally. All right. You guys shouldn't blame yourselves. Calorie just needs time to cool off. Yeah. You sound like you speak from experience. May sighs and nods. What's up with her saying, you always turn my friends against me? It's a long story. Something that happened back in middle school. Something to do with Ryota. Ryuta. Whatever. You two go way back. Yeah, we do. <laughs> May's po pocket vibrates. She pulls out her phone and reviews the message. My team is wondering where I am. Don't worry too much about Kauri. She'll be okay. I'll talk to her when she's calmed down. We nod and watch May head out. I don't feel any less guilty. I shouldn't have acted that way earlier. <laughs> Fuck my phone. No, it was my stupid comments. I never should have said something like that. I guess they still feel guilty too. Let's give Cowdy her space like May suggest. I'll go check up on her. You know what? Let's go check up on her. Because I'm thinking like, 
if we go check up on her, she'll tell us the story about May and Rayota or whatever. And you know what? I, I kind of want to know the story. Like, it's kind of, like, hurting me. And I also want to learn about, like, their old team, like, um, Shows and the other one. And Cowdy's, um, old team, you know? So let's- I'll go check up on her. I'll go see if she's okay. No, let me do it. I don't think she'll be too happy to see you right now, Sho. He's right. Sho frowns, but doesn't protest. You guys can head out. I'll text you once everything is okay. Are you sure? Yeah, there's no point in you guys just standing around here. Let us know if we can help. Will do. I wave at the pair and jog in Cowdy's direction in the direction Cowdy went. The sun dips low in the sky as the evening rolls in. I search several locations for Cowdy until I arrive at one of the more secluded campus quads. There's only one student sitting on the bench with her bags at her feet. Cowdy's face is bent over her chest and I can hear faint sniffles. I do want to know what's up, what happened with May and Ryota, and I know if I skip it, I might miss it, you know? I place an arm around her shoulder. You know what? I would never be this smooth, not even if it's a crying girl. Put an arm around her shoulder, I'll be like, maybe a hand be like, hey, you okay? You know what I mean? Hey, are you okay? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry I'm laughing because that's basically what I said. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you gotta be serious. It's a serious moment right now. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Cowdy glances up at me for a second, but it was long enough for me to see how her eyes glittered. She rubs her eyes. She feels bad. No, we're all sorry. Were you crying? No? What the fuck? We're all sorry. We're all sorry, Cowdy. Cowdy shakes her head. You guys don't have anything to be sorry for. It was my fault. Okay, good. We're finally talking like adults right now. Still, we're your teammates. We should be helping each other, not fighting. You guys were right. This was personal. What? I've been busy with other stuff. I guess the stress got to me. Other stuff? Cowdy shakes her head. Don't worry about it. It's nothing major. I just have to handle myself better. Yeah, cause you're tired, girl. You just need to pace yourself. Even if it's like another job or something, you just need to pace yourself. Don't push yourself too much. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I try to push myself. Like, even right now, going to yogurt land, I'm doing Postmates. I'm still- and I'm still trying to find time to make these videos. Take a nap. And dude, I sacrifice like not writing music because I need to take a nap or rel or even relax. You need to take a time just for yourself, napping, relaxing, anything to just, you know what I mean? Get your mind out of things. You can't be too focused. You can't be too stressed out, you know? You just gotta manage your time a little bit. Even if it's an hour of just relaxing or even like a little nap, you know? You just need to take a break. And calm down. Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna time, time myself when I go back to college, but I gotta do it. Also, I'm gonna be like her, too stressed out and snapping at everyone, you know? <sighs> Alright, let's get back into it. These were deep thoughts with the- Fuck. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta burp right now. <laughs> These were deep thoughts for yeah. Now, let us continue. I sit down beside her. And enjoying the silence. The only sounds are the soft whispers of the breeze and the chirps of wildlife. I let the tranquility wash over me. Even Cowdy seems to be calmer. He looks up at the evening sky. Let's ask about May. I've been wondering, what's your history of May? Cowdy looks at me. What do you mean? She acts like you're her best friend, but you? Not so much. Cowdy sighs. We were best friends, but that was before she broke my trust. Our friendship can't go back to what it used to be, no matter how badly she wants it. 
What did you do that was so unforgivable? Cowdy looks away. If you're ashamed or embarrassed to tell me, could it, could it really have been that bad? Yes. Although she answers quickly, she seems a little less certain than before. Well, alright, that's your call. But it's obvious that May still cares a lot about you. Cowdy doesn't answer. It's getting pretty late. You're going to head out? She stands up and picks up her bag. Yeah. Unexpectedly, she smiles. Thanks. I smile back. No problem. Want me to walk you back to your dorm? I'm okay. Alright. Have a good evening. You too. After she disappears around the corner, I head back to my bike. The entire ride home, I run through the events leading up to Cowdy's departure and our conversation afterwards. I'm just glad everything worked out okay. The house is quiet when I arrive home. I'm a little relieved and exhausted, so I head straight to my to bed and fall fast asleep. <laughs> and I'm gonna end it there. Man, I'm... Yeah, I'm gonna end it there, man. Like I said, I gotta manage my time. And I kinda wanna write music after this. Well, I gotta edit and everything, but I still wanna make music. So, yeah, I'm gonna end it right now. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hit the bell notification to see whenever I post, you know? Because I'm trying to post every day, and if not, every other day, you know? Anyways. Oh, and leave a comment. I forgot. <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I'm gonna head out. I hope you have a good night, a good morning, a good afternoon, or good whatever time it is over there. Okay. This is farewell. And, as always, bye-bye.